CT family, hope you are doing great. Before delving into today's topic, we are going to give a big shout out to our family. We are not 1000 yet, but we will be quite soon, with you liking and sharing the videos with whom you know interested. Thank you for that in advance. And now without any further ado, let's get started. Today, we are going to explain the emulsification theory, and we believe that it will give you an idea of what's going on inside an emulsion and how it is formed in the first place. Honestly, you know it all already. We're just bringing it together and draw the full picture for you. I bet you will have an aha moment at some point watching this video. So let's get into it. Well, what you see when you pour an oil into water can simply tell you how emulsification happens. At first, when you do that, you will see that the two liquids are starting to get meshed together. However, the energy of the system at this point gets quite high and that's not favorable for stability inside the system, as indicated by Gibbs law of energy, which simply states that the higher the energy, the lower the stability. So, in an attempt to reduce the energy and boost the stability, the oil will start coming out of the mixture in form of droplets. Have you ever thought why would the droplets acquire the circular shape? Well, simply because it's the shape that gives the minimum surface area, the less energy and the higher stability. So, Soon enough, the droplets start gathering for the same reason, having less surface area, less energy and better stability. Eventually, all droplets will come together and the oil phase will become completely separated from the water. What have been mentioned takes very short time to happen and at the very end, this is what you see. We said we are going to explain emulsification, how emulsions are formed, but with this happening, there will be no emulsions formed. On the contrary, we will be having the two components forming the emulsion, the oil and the water, in separate phases. Well, emulsions usually form when we add the secret ingredient. Yes, it is secret, but it's not that hard to expect. It's the emulsifying agent, which is a material possessing both hydrophobic and hydrophilic attributes. It can stabilize the oil droplets formed in water or the vice versa by having itself distributed throughout the two phases with its hydrophilic part directed towards the water and hydrophobic one towards the oil. So, when adding oil to water in presence of an emulsifying agent, we wouldn't have the two phases separated at the end, but rather we will have the droplets of one distributed throughout the other. In other words, we will have the emulsion. But what type of emulsion will be having? Is it an oil in water or a water in oil emulsion? Think of this till our next time on Emulsions. This is it for today. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already so you can get more of our content. Till next time, stay fabulous wherever you are.